Let's make this entire Excel dashboard in three minutes. We're going to use pivot charts and slicers. So let's select all of our data and then insert a pivot table. I want to see sales by state. So state goes in rows and then values are where our dollars are going to go so we can get a total. So we're moving sales to the values and we're gonna change that to currency. Now we're going to highlight this and copy and paste because we want to repeat the exact same step. It's just, we wanna look at sales by manager. So now manager goes in rows and sales goes in values. Same thing, we wanna change that to currency, hit okay. And now let's close out of that window. Next, we want to insert our actual pivot chart. So go up to pivot table analyzer, and then let's select our chart. And we're gonna go with a bar chart, but you can pick whatever you want. Let's get rid of these totals. We don't really need those. And let's resize just so you can see it. I'm on a phone screen, so I'm making it a more of a vertical dashboard, but you can arrange it however. Then let's repeat the step for the bottom portion and go up to pivot table analyzer again. And this time let's select a pie chart and we'll make it a 3D model. So then let's get rid of total again. We don't really need titles. And then we're gonna resize and move it around. Now the next step is where we get our buttons from or our slicer. So let's go up to the top and pick filter and then we're going to select the slicer of state and move that up to the top and then repeat that exact same step filter and slicer, and then we're gonna pick manager this time. Next, we're gonna move these things around and we're gonna right click and hide the original pivot table. We no longer need that. And let's move our charts in place. I'm going to do a little bit of an alignment here off to the side and resize this a little bit. Now it's looking good, but we need a title. So let's go up to the top and type in sales dashboard. We're not filtering or anything like that, so it's okay to use Merge and Center to, cite, to center this. So we're gonna do that, and then let's make the font bigger, make it bold, make the title really stand out. We'll change the color, and then let's select all of the background cells and turn those a light gray. Then let's remove the grid lines to make it look really clean. So we'll go to View, and then show and uncheck the grid lines. Next, let's select our slicers and change the colors. So we can go back into that slicer menu and then let's change those to be the orange color. And then let's do some formatting on the, the charts. So we're gonna change the background to a gray, a little bit darker than our main background. Do the same thing on the pie chart. Then we're going to close out of this and let's right click on our bars I find it easier to right click because sometimes when you click on them, they will only do one at a time. We wanna change all of them to a dark gray. And then let's also change the gap width. If we reduce that, it makes the bars wider. Now let's test this out. The cool thing here is that you can pick whichever state, whichever manager you wanna see, and it just takes a second to update. 